Hello, hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. Márcio Marinho here. Today, we're gonna have a very exciting talk about uh, tests, how to set up a new project and add JUnit 5 to that project. So, uh, today, we're going to be using, of course, Java, Maven, JUnit for our project. So, I'll be going uh, step by step on how to set up the project and how we can start playing uh, with those tests in our application to make sure that the application behaves the way uh, it is intended to. So without further ado, let me go and share my screen with all of you guys. Okay, this is my screen. So this is the Maven website. Um, it will be linked uh, in the video description along with the JU unit uh, website as well. So I'm gonna start by creating a new project. So we yeah, have nothing here. Uh, I'm gonna get the Maven command to create the new project. So this command can be found uh, on the Maven's website. So it's a simple command to create a new project where we specify the package, uh, the artifacts name, and the basic archetype uh, we're going to use, which is the Maven archetype quick start. It just bootstraps a very simple Maven project and we say which version, which is the latest one. So if I hit enter, uh, it's going to create me a new project. Just a few seconds. Yeah, so here we go. I have my new projects here and I go to that folder. And yeah, I have uh, that plain Maven structure. The first thing uh, I have to do is I have to include JUnit 5 dependencies. So I'm going here and I have to find the Maven dependencies. Yeah, I think that's a place. Yeah. Uh, I strongly recommend you guys to just read through this whole page because that's very important. But uh, what we have to do right now is just copy these dependencies here and paste them inside our pomp file. Let's go to the uh, applications folder. We have the pomp file. Let me simply edit using my text editor. I'm not going to use the IDE right now. So we can simply um, delete all of this stuff here from dependencies until end of build and add our um, JUnit 5 dependencies. Uh, don't worry about the indentation, you can take care of that later once we load inside our IDE. Another thing I'm gonna do is to change my Java version because I'm using Java 15, correcto, from Amazon. And I think that's it. I'm gonna close it. And now I'm gonna open uh, the project using my IDE. Uh, actually, before that, I'm just gonna run Maven clean install just to show uh, what's gonna happen. So it's gonna fail because by default, um, that Maven archetype will give us JUnit 4 by default, but I just removed all JUnit 4 stuff and replaced it by JUnit 5. Um, and it fails, of course, because the dependencies, they are different. So now I can go there, import my new project, which is the shopping cart. Um, as it is a Maven project, my IntelliJ will uh, recognize that project as a Maven project and will load all the uh, required dependencies. If you take a look here, so that's the uh, POM XML. So the indentation is not correct. We can uh, ask IntelliJ to indent it properly. And that test class, so you can see that there, there are a few weird stuff happening here. That's because of our dependencies. So just remove this uh, JUnit for dependencies. Uh, yeah, this comment makes no sense. And let me uh, import the proper JUnit 5 dependencies. Uh, 
I think that's it's all here. I think that's good. If you run again, Maven clean install. Yeah, you see that it passes now. It's green. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm just come back here and I'm gonna change the uh, main class. That's that's a class that that's gonna run our application. Um, I like to to have this main class called application, so that makes uh, my life easier and simpler. Yeah, let me just get rid of all of these nonsense comments and this weird indentation that they use looks like C <laughs> and this is my shopping cart shopping cart application okay uh, likewise I can I can now run this test uh, from my ID as I have all the dependence loaded so it's gonna pass and from this point on we can start uh, writing our application um, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this quick tutorial on how to uh, set up JUnit 5 on a Maven project and I'll be uh, extending uh, the same project furthermore uh, to add more functionalities and show you guys how we can cover our application uh, with tests using JUnit 5. Okay. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you soon.